Okay. Um, when can I drive post-surgery? Will prescribed medication stop me from driving? Again, um, kind of depends on the op. So I'm assuming it's a big op. I mean, let's be realistic. It's probably going to be a, you know, like a GA case or a bigger case. But, um, but just, just, just for, just to, uh, what do they, what do they say? Just to tail it off. Anyway, um, for smaller ops and minor ops. So strictly speaking, for minor ops under local anesthetic, so if you're having a mole removed, strictly speaking, you shouldn't drive for 24 hours after the after the local anesthetic. That's what they say on the um on the on the stuff on the local anesthetic. So um that's for 24 hours. But um that, that that's the local anesthetic. But I think for for if I'm assuming we're talking about sort of breast augmentations and things, things like that. So it is a good question to ask because you don't really want to be driving to the hospital and then thinking, hold on a minute, how am I going to get home? So you really want to be not driving home. And um, it depends on how, well, first of all, prescribed medication will not stop you from driving because the medication that I, I um, suggest after surgery is usually ibuprofen and paracetamol, which is not even prescription medication. We can give you stronger ones like cocodamol, co codeine phosphate, you know, codeidromol, but I normally say to people to avoid those if you can. So uh, that is not going to stop you. The medication is not going to stop you. Um, the thing that will stop you is the surgery. So I normally say that, um, but it's really what it is. Obviously, a breast augmentation is less than a breast reduction, for instance, and a breast augmentation on top of the muscle is less than a breast augmentation under the muscle. But after a week, for some cases, like maybe a breast augmentation on top of the muscle, for instance, possibly one under the muscle, you may well be able to drive after a week. It's hard to be too specific to everybody because everybody's different. So I would probably say to be safe, say two weeks. If it's a bigger op, like a tummy tuck or a bigger breast reduction, that might be three weeks. Now, they might, you might need to check with the insurance company because they might have a set view that it's got to be three weeks after surgery or something. Or they might say it's up to the doctor, in which case, you know, we'll see you at the dressing clinic at one week. And as I say, two weeks is sort of normally safe. But for bigger ops like uh, tummy tucks and bigger breast reductions, three weeks might be safer. But as I say, everyone's different. So it's hard to be too um, prescriptive on that. 